بالمدرسه بالشارع بالحاره عندنا بالحاره كان معقول بس وين تعرفت علي على الانترنت حكيت مع امك احكي مع امك احكي مع امك ما تروح على محل من غير ما تخبر امك وعدني وعدني طيب طيب ان شاء الله خير ان شاء الله خير سوري اليشا What was that about? I'm so sorry. My teenage son made a friend online. Now, this friend wants to meet my son. My son really, really wants to meet this friend. I don't know what to do. I said, no, but my son really wants to meet him. What should I do? Uh, do you know how they met? They met online. My son plays video games all the time. And I think they met on one of the gaming websites. Okay, and where does this friend want to meet your son? At the library. And are you or your wife going with him? I don't know, should we? Yes, absolutely. Maybe this person is the same age as your son and just wants to be friends. Or they could be an online predator. An online predator? What is that? Online predators are adults who use the internet to meet children they want to harm and exploit. Mine. You are saying that this friend might be an online predator. Children these days face many dangers online, including predators, inappropriate content, and cyberbullying, where people send or post negative, embarrassing, harmful, or false content online. They can do this in text messages, on social media, or even gaming. Technology makes it easy for cyberbullies to quickly and widely share embarrassing photos or rumors about your child, post mean comments about them on social media, or make fun of them for their beliefs or background. That is terrible. But how would I know if one of my children is being bullied online? Great question. I mean, every child is different, of course, but there are a few common signs to be aware of. Your child might become nervous after receiving a text message or checking social media or secretive about their online activity. You might notice a change in their mood after they're online for a while, or they might not want to go to school. The best thing to do is to talk to your kids about cyberbullying and be mindful of any changes in their behavior. Fortunately, there are a lot of monitoring tools that can help you to watch their online activity. Monitoring tools? Do you mean softwares that would allow me to track the devices of my children? Where are the devices? What websites that they are using? Exactly. New Android and Apple devices include built-in parental controls. So just go into your device's settings and you can restrict access to inappropriate content including videos, music, and downloads. There are many parental control apps available for free on app installation platforms like Google Play, the Galaxy Store, or Apple's App Store. What do these apps do? Some are content filters that limit children's access to inappropriate content. Others are usage controls, which limit the time that children can access certain apps. And others track the location of devices and see how children are using their devices. Thank you, Alicia. What else can I do to protect my children online? Let's think of some ideas. You could set the parental controls on popular web browsers like Internet Explorer or Google Chrome to limit what websites your children can access or you can use an internet browser designed specifically for kids. Do you have any ideas? My child watches YouTube all the time. You know, maybe there's some kind of restricted mode on YouTube that would limit what my child would view so that it would be only appropriate for kids. Yeah, perfect. If your son likes online games, just make sure that he uses safe, monitored chat rooms and online gaming communities and just never gives out his personal information. I would also warn him not to meet strangers online. Yeah, definitely. It's helpful to use these tools to monitor young children. However, as they grow up, it's important for them to understand these risks and to make smart decisions about how they use the internet. You won't always be able to monitor your son's online activities. If you start talking to him now, he'll have the information to practice safe online behavior in the future. Also, if you're on social media, add your kids as a friend. And most importantly, set rules and set limits on how your kids spend time online. Wow, I knew there are predators out there, but I didn't imagine that they are doing that online as well. That is really terrible. It was a good thing that your son told you about this friend who wants to meet him. It shows responsibility on his part. You know, this is a great opportunity for you to share with him everything we've talked about and help him understand the risks of being online. Okay, 
I will talk with him for sure. And as for this friend who wants to meet him, what do you want to do? Probably his mother or I will go with him to the library to meet that friend. You know, Alicia, if he met someone like a boy his age, it wouldn't be a problem. Maybe we even would have invited the parents for dinner, something like that. Okay, those are all reasonable ideas, but under no circumstances should you allow him to go alone. I understand. Thank you, Alicia.